It's Lion Morris. This is Sister Tahita Najio Lael coming to you from the desk of Khalifa Media Publishing. Today, I just wanted to shoot you all a quick video on um, our anticipated new release of the Circle 7 Holy Quran of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science 1926 edition, and we're releasing it as a hardback or a hardcover edition. First, I'm going to give a short introduction and show the prototypes and then go into why it was decided to I guess remake a hardcover edition of the circle seven okay first we have the hardcover matte edition this one is uh, it's really nice the um the cover feels almost like suede uh it feels like it needs to be handled carefully I like it. It doesn't, uh, like when you take pictures of it, it doesn't shine. So it's very nice. It, it feels like it's, it's very smooth. Only issue I've seen with it is that, um, it hold it, it collects fingerprints very easily, which isn't a problem if you're not a child. But, uh, when I first got the matte edition, my son was so excited. He wanted to see it and forgotten. He forgot he had just had a slice of pizza his, I couldn't, he had no sauce, but he had grease on his fingers and he gave it back and it was covered in fingerprints. Thank goodness that was the day that I learned you just need a soft, um, moist, not wet, dripping wet, lint free cloth, preferably cotton or some other natural material. Just wet it and it, it'll wipe right off. And like I said, it, it, it feels very nice, like uh, almost professional. The second um, option we're offering is the glossy edition. This one um, is just as nice as the other ones, with the exception of it doesn't show fingerprints as easily. It does shine, has a nice sheen and shine to it. Um, and as you see in the videos, you can see me holding the, the sheets. There's uh, extra sheets of paper in these copies. And I'll go into what these are and what I suggest they're used for. Now, why did we decide to make a hard copy edition of the Circle 7? I went online. Actually, I was in the bookstore and I was looking through the religious section of, uh, I won't say the name of the company, but it's a major book retailer, brick and mortar. You can probably guess who it was. And I was going through their religious section and I'm like, okay, let's see what kind of religious books they have. Okay, they have, it's only one shelf. Actually, it's two, it's one shelf, two sided. And it's all Christian theology, methodology, dogma, et cetera, et cetera. And go all the way down to the bottom two shelves, and there's Judaism and Islam. And nothing um, as far as Moors, of course. I wasn't surprised. But then I noticed, I'm like, oh, okay, let me just look at them anyway. Because, you know, as we put out books, and I, I like to see, you know, keep abreast of the, what's going on in the market. So I'm looking at the covers and it's like, okay, they're standard covers. Go to the other side of the the shelf where they have the Bibles for uh, taking to and from church. And uh, it, it occurs to me they're all hard copy. It's like, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. It might be a better idea to have a hard copy of a book that you you intend on using frequently. Because if your books are anything like mine, the paperbacks, they fall apart eventually after, you know, years of just standard wear and tear. But uh, it takes a lot longer for that to occur with hard copies. That was the first reason. It's like, well, everyone else has one. Where's ours? Okay, that's one. So I went online and I looked for it and I found the, the copy, the edition that was put out by Dr. Malachi Z. York, which you can no longer access. And I've actually seen that copy. I've actually been, you know, fortunate enough to hold copies in my hand more than once. And the first thing that occurred to me was how thick it was. So I was like, okay, so this may have the Circle 7 in it, but this is not the Circle 7 because there's too much of it. That's neither here nor there. Point was, there is slash was a hard copy available that is no longer accessible. Um, so if you didn't get it when he brought it out, you just don't have it. That's That wasn't acceptable to, acceptable to me. So spot a need, fill a need. Um, and then as the third reason, I was going through and, you know, looking through and 
deciding who we were going to contract with to print these out for us. And then it occurred to me another reason why it might be a good idea to have a hard copy. Those additional white sheets, and I'll insert the proper name of them somewhere in the video. The book says, this text belongs to, and you fill in your name. The additional white sheets have been inserted so that you may fill in the names of all of your family members. I've, it occurred to me that not all Moors have access to a temple, let alone have access to birth records. So how can, what can we do to address that issue? We can give you a book where you can record these yourselves that in, a, in a manner that has been recognized and respected for generations. And if you actually, and I've done this, you know, because I homeschool, if you actually go into the statutes of most states, they will accept a religious book. The records were kept in your religious book as proof of your identity. At least in as far as uh, enrolling your children in school and accessing other forms of identity. So, like I said, I was trying to make this quick, keep it short, and give you a nice introduction to our newest newest member, newest addition to our shells. Um, we anticipate these being released after Mercury has left shadow sometime in December. It's uh, first or second week of December. Um, I'll insert the date. If you've already ordered it, you have the uh, you have the option of selecting matte or glossy. But if you did not specify, matte is the default option. So uh, if you get in touch, if you've placed your order already, thank you first of all. And if you do prefer to receive the glossy edition, please contact us at editor at kalifamedia.com, and um, we'll be sure to make sure you get the the edition. The format that you would prefer. And with that said, peace, love, Islam, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.